Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today we are going to install UV4L for our Raspberry Pi 3 here. As you can see, I am in VNC Viewer. This is my Raspberry Pi 3. So what I'm going to do is to install UV4L. It is for video streaming on our web browser so we could use the stream uh, to incorporate into our own project something like um, a streaming uh, robot okay or just like uh, on the drone okay video stream on your drone which is uh, quite fun to do okay this is a simple uh, this is the website for uh, UV4L it's a Linux project the ORG you just go to this link okay I'll put the link down below okay just follow this link and let's get started okay now I am in my Raspberry Pi okay here I'm using my Mac so you can see I'm moving from left to right like this so what you're gonna need to do is you go to UV4L then click on the installation for ARM installation for ARM Raspberry Pi okay how to install or upgrade UV4L on Raspbian VZ and Raspbian JC okay you need to follow all these instructions but don't be afraid I'm, I'm going to show you how to do that okay the first thing that we need to do is to open up our terminal and go to this link okay go to this directory this is actually a directory and we need to access the sources.list file so just copy just copy this link this command C then you go to your Raspberry Pi here on BNC so I'm just gonna pass this okay but you need to add sudo nano in front because we need to edit this file okay so <clears throat> go to the bottom here as you can see I have already added the link here this is the link okay if you see on the web page just now for Raspbian JC you need to add this line okay you copy this line just copy it and then you go to that sources of list and you just paste it in just like that okay I've already done that so I'm going to cut this so after that you just press ctrl O to overwrite okay just press enter then you press ctrl X to exit so now you have already modified your sources list Okay, what we need to do next is to get an update. So just do a normal sudo app get update. For your information, UV4L is a very. Uh, for your info, UV4L is a great way to do online streaming, okay, live streaming of your Pi camera, and it handles them very well, okay. The alternative of UV4L is uh, MJPEG. 
MJPEG streamer. So if you have ever tried uh, MJPEG streamer before and you haven't tried this one, okay, this is a good exposure for you. So okay, we have done our sudo app get update. Now what we need to do is to install okay just copy this command and paste it in then enter so you will be asked for verification just press y and then enter I haven't changed my local settings yet that's why you are seeing this uh, warning I'm supposed need to do that later but it won't affect our installation though so we can just proceed with uh, this the above two command will upgrade you before LK so now we have already installed okay UV4L recipe cap but okay if you want the driver to be loaded at boot okay this is what I like about UV4L uh, rather than the MJPEG streamer okay let's go to MJPEG streamer MJPEG streamer I think she's here oh ah yeah here it is made by Jackson Liam for MJFX streamer the process of building this uh, installation file is a little different than UV4L because it involves CMake here but nonetheless uh, it's pretty simple if you follow this instruction and I suggest you to watch uh, the tutorial on how to install MJPEG streamer on YouTube okay, by Adafruit, Adafruit Industries. Okay. Tony Dicola has made a great video on this installation process. So let's get back to our UV4L. What I like about UV4L is that the driver can be loaded at boot just using this uh, install UV4L extras okay, without having to tinkering around with uh, the system CTL uh, service okay? just like the one that I did for MJPEG streamer you have to create your own uh, dot service file in order to uh, get the uh, driver to be loaded at boot so with UV4L you can just uh, have that feature by installing this extras uh, okay so let's get back to our Terminal clear that up first, then we paste. Okay, just install it again. You press Y and then enter. Hi, now I'm on camera. So, okay. Uh, now what we need to do is to go to uh, this line, copy sudo rpi update, okay, sudo uh, rpi update, okay. Okay, 
we have done the firmware update just now okay as you can see here also considering updating the firmware with the following command now uh, then it asks uh, to read about the modules so you can just uh, read them by typing main ub4l main ub4l like this oops ah yeah this is it so user space video for Linux okay you can just read it up let's try this okay if you have not installed the optional UV4L recipe cam extras which you uh, are encouraged to install because this will let your driver uh, start at boot okay which provides a convenient script for starting UV4L with the setting second from the configuration file uh, let's get back up and okay as you can see here when you restart when you do this okay this is the line that you might use often uh, after you have uh, successfully installed UV4L because this restart is for you to uh, restart the driver with your uh, new configuration or new settings okay the settings are located here at cub4l u4l recipe cam dot conf okay dot com file so this is where all the settings okay located so whenever you restart the driver will boot with your newly uh, configured uh, settings okay but if you uh, didn't change anything it will just lock the default setting for your uh, driver okay the same service is used at boot so whenever you change okay, anything in this okay, every time you boot your raspberry pi it will uh, use that uh, use that configuration that self configuration okay so what we need to do now is okay let's try this one first let's quickly taste ub4l can we perform this uh, snapshot so let's paste it here and then Okay, here we have dual recipe cam video for Linux 2 driver. Okay, build 1.9.42. Okay, detected camera IMX 219. Okay, with the resolution of wow, that's that's the, the that's the real resolution of the, the camera. Uh, 3280 by 2464. Okay, but our selected format is 640 by 480. Encoding in JPEG. JPEG still picture and our frame rate uh, maximum is now set at 30 frames per second okay uh, this one you know I need to know about this okay and the most important thing are these two lines okay where it says device detected and registering device node <coughs> so now you can do this DD instruction to take a snapshot okay let's copy this command <coughs> and paste it here okay we can just change uh, snapshot uh, uv4l so as you press enter and you go to your uh, home directory then this is the snapshot 